Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I got a couple of questions about uh, why are we doing bot smelting? Why do we have chests? Why do we not use belts? So I'm going to try to uh, go over those a little bit if you didn't read the comments and my answers in there. Um, so one of the things that we're saving uh, by having these um, belts go into the or go into chests rather than put them directly into the furnace is uh just imagine this 17 lane uh belt block making a corner that would be absolutely massive um we're not specifically interested in saving space but this would be you know come down at least this far just to get here and then have another uh corner there um and also we are able to draw from a lot more chests when we have them here uh, to do these things with instead of just being limited by lanes. And imagine just how we would need to mix the, the lanes from one train station to another. And that is a big, big pain in the socks, uh, especially if we want full throughput. So that's one reason we're doing it. Another reason, if you're not familiar with Factorio, um, bot-based uh, delivery is actually the most um, it's, it's kind of the end game goal, the most efficient way because of the speed of the bots. And essentially you can have infinite throughput. At the moment, the bots are as fast as they can be with our tech, but there is infinite research tech for bot travel speed. So they are very, very, very efficient at delivering stuff to these, uh, to the chests here. So, uh, another thing, somebody asked me, why do I split it into various chests? Just to have a bit of a buffer system. That's all, uh, in case we run out of, uh, of oil or or the, uh, the ore is going dry or something like that um, just to have enough stuff because eventually we will have plenty of bots um, and that's yeah that's what we're gonna do um, let's see what else ah yes someone brought up that the combinators on the delivery stations are kind of wrong uh, and this is because I had factored in for 100 per stack of ore, but it's not. It's actually ore stacks in 50s and not 100. So we're going to change this. I did the math on these uh, things. And if we're, we're checking to see if the chests have enough room for a train car. And so the chests are 12 chests around the train car. Um, and that adds up to 28,600, I think. Um, I'm not going to calculate it again. I think that's right. And so a, a, um, a train car can hold 2000 ore. So we just need to remove, uh, this number and put in 26 K cause that's an approximation. Um, instead of 28.6, we'll just do 26. It gives a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. So we'll set this good, good. And basically copy this to the other combinators here. There we go. Just click them all in and that will uh, have our trains go a little bit more efficiently. Now then, um, we did set up a building train station over here. I've gone into one of my other save files. Uh, I think it was entry level to Megabase to uh, collect a blueprint for the a building train. Now, um, yeah, we have we have many things to do at the moment. I'm wondering if I should set up the building train. I guess I could do that. That would be just easy to do. And then we'll have it going to these various outposts so that we can build uh, on the fly. So I think we'll do that. These guys we're going to want to have, let's see, 50 of those. That's just fine. Uh, but most importantly, we need, uh, wait, is this how many we need? Okay, total construction... What are we doing here? If X is less than 10, yeah, available logistics bots. Um, <laughs> I don't think we want to do that. Let's have these guys get a delivery of 200 at a time. And then we'll just say, I think I want to do a combinator selection on this one because we want to check two conditions. We want to have at least like 3,000 bots here, uh, at the very least. Do I have any of these? Hello? Ah, there they are. 36 of them. Hello, that's nice. Okay, so what I'll do is check... Um, with wire. So we'll take this one off. We'll have these two looking at this. Okay. 
And then their inputs are going to go into the combinator. So we're going to say if x is less than 10, whoopsies, hello, there we go. If it's less than 10, insert new bots or insert a blue signal, okay, uh, which means the inserter is going to work. Um, well, we're going to make that signal in just a second. And also if total bots or total logistics bots, uh, we're looking at X and Y here. So if Y is less than, I think we want like 3000 here at the very least. So we'll set that to that in output another blue square. Did we do blue here? Yes, we did. And then the inserter is going to work if blue square, square is greater than zero. So if either of those signals is true, it's going to insert them into the RoboPort and hopefully they'll get organized um, as things go. Looks like things have settled down here. Things have stopped because there's nowhere to put these copper plates. We don't have any trains delivering them anywhere yet. Uh, and those were going to go to those different train stations. I think we need to go back to the base. Let's just set up this building train quickly uh, and we'll take this. Here we go. Building train loading. There we are. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, building train loading. All right, let's go back. Hide completed. There we go. Take this one. Good. All right. So now it's going to show up at the top and we'll go back to the base real quick. Let's see what else we can get done. Okay, there's our plastic place. Oopsies. We should not walk on the tracks. That is inadvisable. It's very inconvenient to get killed by these things. Seems like the whole factory is a bit paused at the moment, which is all right too. All right, now then, where do we want to put the building train? Hmm. Tempted to put it kind of over here, maybe? Maybe we could put a new parking spot here-ish. This one has no parking spot. I guess we could sneak it here. I just want, don't want the robots to travel that far. Uh, in terms of where we put this thing. So let me go and look at our blueprints. Wow, I need to get in the zone here so I can be delivered some stuff. Oh, and I forgot to put all of these things back. I, I always forget that, to put stuff in the train. All right, we have building train manual and building train delivery. Now, these are two different trains that we want to load. Uh, and I think we'll get them going here. Let me just look. I'll put it in the non-delivery area for now. <laughs> in the construction area, but not the delivery area. And just see what we have uh, available to us. Pump jacks, undergroundies. Oh, okay. Yep. I am very, very excited. Oh, wow. Is this our artillery shells? We don't need those at all. So we'll just remove that one for now. Um, chests, things, stuff. The only thing that's quite, um, <laughs> not ideal, which is getting fixed in the next, um, in the next version of Factorio is the ability to copy the entire train. And that also, uh, applies to all the things that are, um, what do you call it? Uh, filtered in the train cars. Okay. I'm just looking at these things. Why do we have two of these? really interesting um all right so huh, this is going to be most interesting what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to place this and then i'm going to remove the inserters because that's going to be interesting let's see if i can get this over here Okay, and this is slightly too long as well. This one allows for two cars of uh, detritus, which I don't think we can afford that. This is actually a five car train, which will be above the, yeah, that's not really good. We might have to do a building train thing elsewhere. We could put it here though. Could actually put it down here. That might be better for us, in fact. All right, let's go ahead and landfill this area. Um, do 
I have landfill? I might have put it back in the train. Um, where is landfill? I feel all of a sudden lost in this factory. I've been playing uh, Darkstar with Caledorn and Avon, and we have been having such an awesome time. Uh, highly recommend you check out the series if you've not seen it yet. Um, but one of the things is like, you just have this memory for your factory, and I haven't played this one in quite a while, so I'm like, where is everything? I'm totally lost. Uh, where are all the things? I don't know. Uh, landfill, hello. You know what? I'll just request some, and maybe some will be brought to me. We'll try it that way. Uh, I don't know if I have any in the system or not. They're taking it from the chest. That's a good sign, I suppose. All right. Oh, it's making it green. That's not ideal. Come on, guys. I need more landfill. We may have to go search for our landfill factory. I'm pretty sure that we were making some, but weren't we? We must have been. Though I wonder if I tore the factory down. It could have actually been where we had our starter base, which is now actually torn down. It was technically temporary. We didn't have it for like 40 episodes or something. <clears throat> Maybe. Anyway. Uh, it might have been around here somewhere. I kind of think we might have actually torn it down. It might have been roundabouts here a ways. No. Wow, there's a bunch of junk on the ground here. Also, I suppose I should put some robo ports down here just to get this sorted. I don't have any robo ports in my inventory. That is a scary, scary thing. I'm like, no, I feel naked without robo ports. Oh, right. Let's connect this one up to here. Yeah, we do actually have this stuff organized ish. I do not want to get involved in any of this. Don't give it to me. No, no. Okay. And then this also probably can go uh, the entire steel making assembly here. Which we will just delete. Go away. Ah, this is interesting. Looks like the steel is coming in. All right, this needs to be mixed before it gets to this point, because that's not good. See, output priority to the right. There we are. Looks like we don't actually have any landfill being made. That's very odd. I think I will... Where is the stone going up? It's going up there. I could make it at the end of this line with stone, um, potentially. Let's see, what if I put in a... I don't have one of those either. Wow, I have nothing. <laughs> I feel like, whoa, I don't have anything on me. There ain't nothing here. Oh, hello. Well, look at that. We have some stuff right here. Isn't that handy? Okay, let's get some of this. And put it in a chest. Into a provider chest. And we need a requester chest like that uh, and that will request I think it's just stone right yeah 20 stone okay so you request all the stone you want say like 200 or 400 maybe and hopefully that will recycle a lot of this stone and landfill will have like maybe one row of that stuff. I don't think we really need any more. I'm not very fond of landfilling very large areas. Let's take this out. I think 15 should be enough to cover this. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Now then, we got that sorted. We can get rid of these desert trees here. Now then, we'll, we will get back to our uh, thingamajiggy. We want to have a... We can have one train line. Hmm. Probably here, I'm guessing. See if that's enough space for this station. 
Come on. There we are. It's fine. Aha. That looks really good, actually. I like this. Let's put this here. Okay. And then this thing will go this way. Then we'll have our second station somewhere in this kind of general vicinity. I have two different trains. Now, this train station is for the building train uh, that is our manual building train that we would set off originally to go to a place and build most of the stuff with. Now, the second building train station, let me just go back to our blueprints. Uh, it is BP. This is manual M. And then the other one I'm calling D for delivery. Now you don't have to use any of these names. That's just what I just called it just off the fly here. Um, so this one is for our automatic deliveries. That's the purpose of this tiny uh, station here. It's a little bit offset from the other, but it's not, we don't even care. So let's put again this corner. Okay, there we are. Very nice. Oh my goodness, I don't have a steel axe. This is rough times, man. Really rough times. Oh, I forgot I can't build a jackhammer like in Dark Star. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, it'll be fine. No worries. There we go. Let's take these off and put this one there. I think that should be just fine. Um... We're only ever going to have one each of these trains, so that is not otherwise an issue. We'll put a couple of signals there to make those blocks a little bit smaller. Okay, ah, let's get our, yes, uh, this thing, this thingy imaging -y. I wanna make this whole thing solid in terms of uh, coverage area for the robos, robo ports, robot thingy-majingings. There we go. There we are. There we are. Nice. These guys don't have any power. Why is that? That's very odd. I think they were probably next to another station, which did have power. This looks like not that useful. Okay, these are requesting wood. <laughs> okay. Um, we can request wood or coal. I think uh, that would be fine. Again, oh, this is requesting rocket fuel. Yeah, not so much. Wood or coal is fine for that. Oh, wow, we're having a lot of bots coming up here to deliver stuff. I might just decide to make more, a few more robo ports here so they can rest. I don't want to put robo ports all the way down because. Just make this a little bit straighter. Um, yeah, because I want to be able to pass back and forth between these two places. Now then, we have the difficult business um, <laughs> of setting up this train. This is probably the most irritating part of the building train. I hate it. It drives me nuts. Uh, what I have done in the past is basically try to copy from another part of the map but here we don't actually have that luxury this is going to be rough but we'll we'll do it what i want to do first of all is i want to remove all of the inserters here what is this one asking for okay we don't need this um so let's just do that we want to take stack inserters off um reds we have a lot of I don't think we have those. Oh, wait. Uh, green ones. I don't think we have anything other than those. We don't have any yellows for sure. So we're just going to take them all off as we set up the building trains. And then we're going to replop the blueprints on top of this. Now, the reason we do this is so as we don't drive ourselves crazy. Driving ourselves crazy is not fun. Um, <laughs> what will happen is if we leave these down and put our cargo wagons in, the cars will start filling immediately with stuff. This is not good, uh, considering we need to filter the wagons because we only want a limited amount of stuff in each particular wagon. Okay, there we go. This is nice. This one, you have fuel. What color should we have the building trains be? I don't know. Maybe the blue? Blue, blue? Oh, I'm reading this backwards. Pardon me. 
We could have them be... Actually, we could have them be purple. Like this kind of uh, fuchsia color. Just because nothing else is fuchsia. I think our trains um, for blue chips are kind of blue colored. So let us just use uh, this kind of uh, purple color. Now, um, what we really want to do is figure out what exactly we have in each of these cars. Now, what I'm going to do is probably choose the thing that we need most of. Like this train clearly needs the most of being um, track. But we could use a couple of um, power poles here. So we'll use four of these. You can grab your stuff from your inventory if you want to. And that makes it a little bit easier to just do these. Otherwise, you have you can click in here with middle click and then choose the item you want. Um, but it is actually quite easier to just grab it like this and then... Oops, one, one of those. What else do we have here? Power poles and mostly track. What are these? These are power poles. Anything else in here? Probably not. And then the rest we can actually have of uh, these. Let's do that. And can I clear all, set all requests, fill blueprint? Ooh, blueprint might have been good. I don't know if I can blueprint that. I don't even know what that means. Wow. If I had known, I should have blueprinted from my other save. But I'm not going to do that now. Uh, it is important to know how to set up the building train. So this is probably a good way to do that. I think I might just add... A few more of these guys and maybe one more of those so we'll add copy paste we'll add copy paste 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 and we'll add our chain signal back here okay car one is set up Car two, looks like all we have are robo ports. We have three stacks in here. So this is probably how many I wanted initially to have in the building train for the initial setup. So we'll just do three stacks of robo ports. Uh, we have substations. I don't know if we even have any substations on us. Yeah, we do. Okay. One, two, three of those. Actually, we don't need three. We just probably need two. We probably... Actually, let's copy this to there and then add another RoboPort thing here. Uh, and we'll also increase the number of RoboPorts that we're requesting. 45 there. Uh, and here we need lots and lots of undergrounds. 225 we're requesting. They stack in 50s. So that means we need a whole bunch of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. That's 250. So we'll do a whole row of these. And then we need something like uh, inserters. Those, five of those. Really surprised. We don't seem to have as many things as I think we should have in here. And the selections are a little bit odd. Um, I'm wondering if we should put in here instead mini loaders instead of the stack filter inserters because we haven't actually been using uh, the stack filters at all, but we have been using a ton of uh, mini loaders. So let's go ahead and add mini loaders here. Okay, so I want to change this one to be mini loaders instead. And we'll get, how many did we say? One, two, three, four, five times 50 is 250. So we'll say like 300 just to have enough. And we'll take these out. We don't really need those at all. Um, let's put those in our logistics trash slots. Anything else we need here? I'm thinking we could just use maybe more of these. Um, the other slots, we really do need to fill up this entire train with stuff. Let's leave those blank for now. And let's keep uh, going with the other things that we might require. Maybe we'll even put bots in here because we do have uh, plenty of room for those. Ah, looks like we have more um, um, RoboPorts here. We have train locomotives and we have train cars. I think we'll, we'll put those first. Let's get the train. One of those, maybe two of these. And then one liquid wagon thing. Okay, that takes care of those. 
We need engines. Okay, we'll take one of these, one thing of engines. And lights. Ah, we don't need regular lamps. We would like balloon lamps, though. We'll take 150 of those. Though, to be fair, most of uh, blueprints that we... Well, we're not going to use a lot of blueprints since we're using the Whistle Stop factories anyway, so I guess that's okay. Okay, we'll do three stacks of these. One, two, three. Pump jacks. We usually need a lot of pump jacks, so I think I'll start this on the next row. Copy, copy, copy. Many, many. How many are we asking for? One, two, three, four, five, six stacks. Okay, that's fine. If we do that, these also have mountains of undergrounds. I don't know why we need so many darn undergrounds, but I think we'll just take these out of here. Let's just take out the request and be done with those. Well, I'll take half of them, I guess. Put the rest over there. Okay. And take these out. Okay. All right. We also have more power poles, but I don't think we need those there. I think those can go elsewhere. I will just put them in here. Okay. And we have, okay, we got the cars, robots. That's going to be a fairly, fairly important thing. We have construction robots, but I don't see any logistics robots. So maybe this one will be logistics robots. Uh, we'll, we have a hundred of those. We'll have a hundred also of the Logi bots. There we go. We'll take a hundred just to start off the area we're using. So that's two stacks. So we'll just put them here. There we go. Construction, paste, Logibot, paste. Okay. And then we have pipes. We have, wow, five stacks of these and six stacks of those. So I think we'll use... Get these one, two, three, four, five, and then these guys one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we still have spots available. Hmm, I can't remember what the heck I, I use with all these extra spots here. I feel like I'm missing something that's not here. Uh, this is quite strange to me. Okay, here we have five stacks and another five stacks of miners, so a whole row of miners. This probably should just be miners and belts, this entire wagon. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll put these other things on the other side. Um, stack inserters. Hmm. I feel like those could be just like one thing. Let me just copy paste these guys here, over here. And delete them from here. Splitters would be good. Let's have our... Splitters, maybe a couple of these. And I think the rest are going to be belts. I think that's what they're going to be. We only have three stacks in each of these. So three times one, two, three, six is 18. This is 27. Hmm. Too bad you can't like click and drag. It doesn't work. Not quite. Okay, so that's that. Um, right, now then. These guys, we're going to take maybe one set of these guys. Maybe one set of those guys. We'll take the chests. Iron chests. Copy, copy. One set of train stops. Anything else that we want to bring can't even think about what we need. We could do radars. That's another thing that we could bring. Um, hmm. I guess I could put radars here. That one's full already. This one is not full. Let's put this away there. Radars. These are military, and there they are. Okay, oh, hello, Araminta. Oh, it's time for a cat patting break. Pause the video so you can pat your cat or dog or bird or parakeet or otter or whatever you happen to have swimming near nearby you. 
My cat is just swimming by my hand at the moment, so I'm patting her good. Yes. She greeted me with a purr, which was very nice. Uh, what did I just see over in this military thing? Oh, okay. That's what that is. Right. Okay. I thought I saw something very strange. Uh, right. So we're going to get these guys. Let's just add radars on here. We don't need more than one of those. What is that stuff? Oh, artillery turrets. Right. I never use those things. <laughs> uh, so it's just fine. Um, gosh. I guess there's not really much else that we can put in here. Um, hmm. I don't know what we should do with the empty spaces at the moment. Normally these spaces are very, very full. So it's kind of weird to have them not that full. I think we can just maybe put more Logibots here. Um, and then we'll just request like 200 instead or 250 maybe just so it can catch up with the next delivery we have plenty of belts here what else do we want in here anything now i put this two away so that it could use a long-handed inserter to grip this um i'm wondering if i should just add a bunch of bots because we are needing a huge huge influx of them for each of these kind of areas let's see if there's anything else we need we have power poles we've got oh chests why do we not have chests in here that is a very strange thing i think we definitely need chests these are going to be actually these guys uh provider chests and we want to have let's see one stack is 50 so maybe we'll have 250 of these and we'll have 250 requester chests. Okay. Uh, and then we'll just have a whole row full of chests. Now, some people might be wondering, oh my gosh, you're using an entire chest to request one item. Yes, that is because if you use a chest uh, and have multiple items in the same chest, and the inserter is loading this and these are pretend these are blocked off well we'll just use this one if the inserter is loading stuff and for example we have way too many medium poles if this chest was saying medium poles and then large poles um, then if the inserter has a medium pole and they're full they cannot return the item to the box and therefore cannot pick up the other item. So you really have to use one item per chest. That's why we have these guys in the back uh, row here because these are sort of small amounts of items, very tiny amounts of items. Um, so we can use the uh, long-handed inserters to insert these guys. These, uh, these guys will just do a row of two like this, and that way they'll get pushed along. But for these close chests, the ones that have high throughput uh, of stuff, we're going to use stack inserters so that our train will load fairly fast. Ah, yes. The other thing this doesn't have is beacons. Why do we not have beacons? Uh, I think we're going to take off some of this. Okay, take off these. And I think we need beacons here. Definitely need beacons. I don't know why we don't have beacons. This is really strange. I think we'll add... Um, because I think we did those, didn't we? I don't remember. Okay, take these out. And these are going to be beacons. Where are they? There we are. Effect transmission. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that sounds... That looks a lot better. We do need quite a lot of beacons. Um, and that will request them here. So how many do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five. Plus five is ten. Ten times ten is a hundred beacons. So we'll say request 120. We'll just put those in there. Uh, oh, that's handy, isn't it? Okay, good. That is very good. Now, does, do these people request beacons? Yes, they do. They're smart <laughs> over here. That is a good thing. Um, now then, they are requesting other things that I've kind of forgotten about. Why does this building train not have stuff for... I need to really redo this because this is like really weird that it doesn't have a spot for refineries for example or other stuff like i don't need that well i might need that many pipes i don't know this looks like an okay wagon consist this one 
I don't know if I'll need that many splitters. Uh, I could take these out and have, say, one thing for refineries and then several for chemical plants. Paste, paste, paste. Four, five. I think that's good for those. So I'll grab... Oops, I've completely given over all of my chests. Yes, not good. So chemical plants here. Um, what, like 50? And then refineries, we just need one. Oh, wait, that's big refineries. No, no. Regular oil refineries should do. Okay, so that's better. What else is this one requesting that we're not getting up there? Modules. Look at that. They, we don't have any modules. We don't actually need very many modules. I think we can request... Should we even bother requesting speed modules? I don't even know. Because that's something that is just kind of irrelevant. I think. These guys, this one is good. This one is doing well. I think we're good. Maybe we can dedicate one square somewhere like here or two for modules. Okay, I think that's okay if we do that that way then. And we'll just say 10. We'll request 100 there because uh, they stack in 50s. We don't really need productivity modules because we are just using very tiny amounts per big factory. And I think this might be a good building train. I think this might be an excellent building train. Now then, I'm going to go ahead and put in the inserters manually for this. Now, the important thing about a building train is this, that the entire wagon is filled with stuff or is reserved for stuff. Because if you don't do this, and this is why we took off the inserters to begin with, if you don't do this, the um, the wagons are just going to fill with random stuff from whatever chest. And it is a very big pain in the socks, like sock pain like you've never even seen before. Okay, we'll just get these. There we are. And then all the rest are going to be stacked. Stack inserters. Oops. Come on. There we go. I missed one of these guys. Okay. Oh, it's already there. Nope, I did not miss it. Well then, here we go. All the bots are doing now more stuff. Um, and there we go. But we are definitely out of time for this episode. I think what I'll do is I'll do something very similar on the other train between episodes since it's kind of a tedious thing and you've already seen this. But basically, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, the last cars, I should say one more thing about this. These are for recycling stuff. So if I find junk on the um, in the world, like random belts here or there or wood or coal or stone that gets on my person, it's going to be in these wagons and then I can just just ditch it. I almost ditched my fish there. Thank goodness I didn't. Um, and then it will come back here and will be evacuated into storage or recycling or however we're dealing with it in the base. So that is what we're going to do with that. And we will have a functional building train for the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>